I know you've all missed me, but hey, hope everyone is doing great. We are in September of 2021 right now. This is my first video in several months. After doing weekly updates for about a year, um, I'm back to the weekly updates of the game and how it's going. So hope everyone has been really well. Uh, I want to say first, start out with a big thank you to everyone who has, who has bought the game and supported the game. Uh, it, it's gone great. You know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not quitting my day job anytime soon. That's for sure, but this was never about uh, you know that. It was about making a fun wrestling game, which, uh, according to the majority of the reviews, the vast majority of reviews we've done. So I want to thank everyone for playing the game. Now down to the nitty gritty. That's great, Mike. What have you done for me lately? Right. So what have we been working on? What are we gonna do going forward? Hey, you've been a little silent, is what you know we're hearing. Although we have continued, obviously, marketing the game on social media. We haven't really mentioned much about additional content coming, what we've been working on behind the scenes. So that's why I'm here for this update. I have some help now with the video, so I'm gonna send this out. This is kind of a work in process. I'm trying to upgrade these videos a little bit slightly. Most importantly is the content, obviously, which is always what it was. And then I'm going to get some feedback on what I need to change. I know my lighting isn't perfect yet. May upgrade the camera a little bit. Um, I'm just using a webcam right now, but we'll see. Uh, mo most importantly is the content of what I'm putting out, not necessarily the quality, but I would like... Where's the DLC? Where's the Xbox achievement update? Give me! Right? So... We're working on it, um, and I know that's a kind of a broken record. That's what I said when we were leading up to launch, um, but we are working on it. I am going to give you more than that, though. So, what have we basically been doing since we launched? I think the last, the last um, version launched in June on the I Arcade, which was our last launch window. So we've had July, August, and September, uh, the last three months of basically working on bug fixes. Okay, so a lot of these aren't. Prevalent. They didn't happen a lot, but they happened. We still had some crashes going on. Um, a lot of graphical issues that we had to find. Move tweaks that we've done on animations. Uh, little small things. Maybe not everybody noticed. I noticed. I have one specific person who's come on lately to help us with um, just quality control, bug fixing, things like that. He's definitely noticed. You know who I'm talking about. But we are really working to improve this game on the back end. We've had uh, some turnover on our programmers. Our two main programmers are, I wouldn't say they left the project completely, but they were ready to move on. They were ready to transition. I think they had what's commonly referred to as project fatigue. They'd been working on Retromania for a while um, and they needed to, to work on something else, which I completely get. They were awesome in the transition. Uh, we have a new programmer who's, who's killing it for us. Uh, who's been actually, he's been working on it for the last several months now at this point. Um, Really, once we finished the launch, we started transitioning over to the new lead programmer, and he he's awesome. Uh, so he's been doing great work for us. He did have to you know go through the learning curve a little bit, but he's there now, and we've been cranking stuff out on our end. Like I said, it's not super noticeable stuff, but uh, you are going to see it in the game when we release that that update. So what what's going to be in the next update of the game? I know we had, a, we, had, we had several small updates right after release for stuff that came up once a mass number of people started playing the game, and we were worked frantically to do that right off the bat. But now we've had a buildup of a countless number of bugs that we have uh, squashed and gone through. Um, and actually, you know what? I can... The first thing that we have is we did add two new arenas. They're specifically related to two conventions. Uh, so this is probably going to drop on Friday. So right now this weekend in Oaks, PA, we have the BWO there on Friday and Saturday to help promote the game. This is where we first showed the game to the public in, back in 2019. Uh, so we're back. This is right in my backyard. We did a BWO arena. Uh, for people to be able to play in. Just a little something that we knew we could add quickly to give a little more variety to the game and what we're basically, we can do going forward. The other one is the CCA Arena, Corluzo Collection Agency Arena. We are gonna be at the Big Bang show on Saturday night. Both Hollywood Nova and the Blue Meanie will be wrestling there, coming out of retirement uh, for a tag match loaded card with a bunch of other great guys on it, including Mark Henry. So we did a special arena just for that event. Uh, we should have uh, that in the next update as well, assuming we get approved. Definitely the BWO one that's signed off on 
Uh, I have to get a couple permissions for the other one, but I don't see any issues coming out on that. The other thing, we have a championship indicator, finally. This is something that should have been in there from the beginning. We have a little belt icon now in the select screen menu of telling you who the champion is. Uh, so that has been addressed. Doomsday animation. We had a lot of tweaks. It didn't look completely right. It's my favorite move in the game. You know, that of a Jeff Cobb's Tour of the Islands. But uh, it's definitely the coolest double team move in the game. That had some issue. Uh, all known crashes we've identified and we have corrected. So we still had several going on that have come to our attention. And again, I just want to say thank you so much to the users. I've received great constructive criticism emails. People have been gracious enough to spend their time documenting bugs for us. And we've tried to fix all of those. And then a couple, a, a couple tweaks to gameplay as well. The illegal man must now have more than 10% of his health to make a sa save in tag matches. So one of the common things that we heard complaints about was in a tag match your partner or the partner of the other team always came in and broke it up always came in and broke it up so we put some limits on that to try to increase the fun factor of tag matches and we think we have uh, greatly increased the fun factor in that regard turnbuckle move distances and hitbox have all been corrected where people get junk off the turnbuckles and maybe go a little too far all the way across the ring it just i get it we're an arcade game but it seemed a little too much uh, so we made some tweaks around there a ton of rogue pixels in different uh, sprites in the crowd, in the game characters, things of that nature. So we fixed all those. Uh, some, some rope adjustments for placements that were off. And many, many, many other move animations and layer, layering issues were all cleaned up. So we went through pretty much every animation that we had in the game and cleaned them up if they needed it. Um, so again, this is a lot of stuff that in an ideal world would have been polished before we launched the game. Uh, but we had to get the game out um, and we didn't think it took distracted too much But when we went back and through we really wanted to clean it up So we have a great base now to go on going forward We've cleaned up also our processes like our art pipeline and how we take our art assets and get them in the game it's To avoid these issues in the future so many lessons learned by myself through this development process um, And it just I want to apply it and, and keep making this game better the other thing, we're gonna release this online, it'll probably be on our website and then on the Steam page, but we have a new game manual with a lot more information and we were gonna get that uh, manual. It's not on this update, but we wanna get this manual into the game itself so you can see the manual in the game. I know a lot of things, I, I maybe erred on the side of being too old school, you know, that whole Nintendo hard thing and not giving the players uh, enough information to go on. So. Uh, we're going to get that manual into the game at some point, but we are going to make it available online with basically covers all the gameplay um, elements as well. So when is that update coming out? So the bug fix. So it is going to come out on Steam earlier. It's it's quicker for us to, to push to Steam. We basically don't need any interaction by anyone at Valve uh, in order to do that. So it's going to go out there soon, Steam first, but we are already started working on the console updates as well. So they take a little bit longer just by their nature. Uh, they do more checks on the game and stuff, but we've already gone through it. We've already learned all the lessons. Um, so I would say the next uh, three to four weeks, we will get uh, that update in everybody's hands. Hey Mike, that's great and all, you fixed that stuff, but where's my DLC, right? Um, so Chris Bay, James Storm, Mr. Hughes, when are they gonna be playable? So we have all the art assets. We are pretty close to being done, James Storm and Chris Bay. Uh, Mr. Hughes is lagging a little bit around, around the initial go around of the sprites and then we have to animate a couple new moves for each of them and then that's it uh, and then program them in the game. So our goal is for the new characters and the, the finish of the story mode and possibly a couple other things added before the end of the year. Um, that, that's our goal right now. End of the year is going to be here before we know it. That's three months away. I feel confident in that, in, in putting that out there now. By the end of the year, we'll get DLC in your hands. The other thing, the Xbox achievement. To all of my patient, patient Xbox achievement hunters, first I want to say sorry it took this long. It, it, it was not forgotten about. Uh, it's at the top of our list for the Xbox build. So here is just so those of you who aren't Xbox players, uh, one achievement in the game. The only two issues we have with achievements right now. I think you have to beat 10 pounds of gold six times for that one to unlock on, on all platforms. And the other one is you can't unlock the last achievement for the Xbox unless you bought it after we made the fix. Uh, it wasn't retroactive and we worked with Yo-Yo Games and it's just a limitation in their Xbox implementation for achievements. So 
For that achievement, we are changing that achievement completely so everyone will be able to unlock it. That is going in to the next update. Um, like I said, three to four weeks from now, we will have that in your hands um, and we will be fixing the Xbox achievement. Again, I'm sorry that it took this long. In hindsight 2020, we shouldn't have waited this long to try to fix it. But with that said, learn from it. Don't repeat the same mistake again in the future. Uh, and we are gonna get that achievement fixed in the next update and in your hands. Again, to all those Xbox achievement honors, sorry it took so long, but it's coming in your hands very, very soon. I think that's everything for this week. Uh, it was a lot of uh, just getting some information to you guys. I'm happy to be back. We're gonna be doing more video content for you guys. Um, we have some, some goals to obviously grow our YouTube audience and just grow our community in general. We are committed to you guys. Uh, I know we, were, we weren't great on communication post-launch, uh, and we want to be better, and we're going to be better. We are going to keep content coming. We're going to keep you guys uh, updated as to when that content can be expected, and just know that we are working hard uh, on development of Retromania Wrestling. It's not going anywhere, and we are continuing uh, to make the game better. Uh, but again, thank you so much for everyone who supported us up to this point and for all anyone watching this new who's thinking about buying the game We are committed to it and we are gonna keep working on it. It's it's my favorite wrestling game uh, I have you know, obviously I'm, I have a completely Jaded opinion on that, but I still have fun playing it and but I, I see so many things that I still want to do with it uh, So that's where we're at. Thank you to this entire community uh, for, for keeping with us. If you're watching this, you've stuck with us throughout the delays, throughout the, the mistakes that I made through the development process. But we are, we have, like I said, that big bug update fix coming out soon. So again, thank you. And I will talk to you guys at a minimum next Friday. Um, and we're gonna expect uh, some quality to go up and uh, some more content coming out very frequently. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.